What's up, y'all? Today, um, Warriors fans, I'm talking to y'all. I'm talking to y'all and some other fans that has some stuff to say in my DeMarcus Cousins video. You know, um, you guys were, you missed the point, really. Um, I had like one point about there being five All-Stars on the team, and that shouldn't happen. You missed that point and, and tried to make another point about the Lakers. By the way, y'all like attacked my Lakers for no reason. We just sat here. But you attacked us and you weren't even right. Yeah, yeah. So guess what, sweetie? I got the comments right here pulled up because I usually respond to every single comment I get, but there was like 400 plus comments on that video, which is awesome. I was going crazy, but at the same time, like, it takes me a while to reply to all that and then still do my online class, still live, you know? So I haven't gotten to all the comments, but today I just picked out a couple, 10 of them actually, that I'm just like, are you serious? Trust me, this is not the worst of it. This is just the comments that I got dealing with the five all-star thing and y'all trying to call out my Lakers for whatever, but it's just not the case. It's not factual and I have facts to prove that. Okay, so we're gonna break this down. Let's get into it. Okay, I know I just said let's get into it, but quickly before that, I just wanna run this idea by you for the channel, for me. Basically, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, um, some people talk to me, you know, DM me, whatever. We just literally just talk, have conversations about the NBA, all that stuff. And a couple of y'all have been asking, like, where are the videos lately? Like, are you going to ever post again? And it was not that long. But then again, yeah, I have been on a streak lately, and then I just stopped. And the reason was because there hasn't been, like, Laker news, you know what I mean? But there's been a lot going on in the NBA that I feel like I have a lot of opinions on. You know, and I would love to make a video about it, but it'd be like a two minute video. You know, I don't want to post like 50 million two minute videos just like this little news, this little news happens. So because I choose to skip like the smaller stories or the stories that aren't Laker related, some of y'all hit me up, ask me what do I think about it and stuff, and I'm like, hmm, should I make a video, but it'd be overly short, yada yada, like it's not a big enough deal to make a whole video about, is my whole point. So I was thinking, you know, just brainstorming. Um, maybe like a podcast? I don't know. Look, look, I don't know how to do podcast podcast, but what I would basically do <laughs> was just set up a camera and just talk. No editing, nothing like that. I'm just talking about the news, not even of the day. I maybe do like twice a week or maybe just once a week. Just recapping stuff that happened so that I can give my opinions. Because even though it's not like related, like, trust me, I see all this news and I'm responding to all of it on Instagram. Some of y'all catch my comments and respond to them like you like them and stuff. Because I have opinions on all this stuff. I just don't post it on here. So I feel like some of y'all might be wondering where I am or what do I think about the certain topic. I can just post it on here bi-weekly. Is that an idea or y'all like, no? I don't know, somebody somebody comment that. Like, do you think it's a good idea or do you think it's trash? Let me know in the comments. But let's get into this video. But yeah, I have the facts. You thought I was joking. You you thought you would get away with your comments. However, that's not how it goes down here. <laughs> it doesn't. So, all right, so just get some background. In the DeMarcus Cousins video, okay, I said a lot of stuff. But the main thing was that like they have five all-stars. I don't care how you phrase it, how you flip it, twip it, reverse it, or rip it. You shouldn't have five all-stars on your team. It shouldn't be possible. You shouldn't be able to sign them on the fraction. You, you watch the video if you want to see exactly what I'm talking about. But you just shouldn't be able to do certain things. I know. I know that hurt some of you. It wounded you. I know. However, that's just how I feel about that. Now, you can say, well, they got it this way. They drafted most of their players and then they traded. It's not their fault that nobody offered. First of all, we debunked that. So you can check out my videos on that and that's that on that because we debunked that. But, you know, I know they drafted three of their all-stars. Whoopie, whoopie, Kaye. But like, you know, the boogie, the boogie signing. Watch the other video. I'm not getting into that. That was just a no. But I was complaining about it. I was a little salty. I was. I know. I was. And some people called me out on it. And they said, it's funny how a Lakers fan is talking about this when we have all these all-stars. I was reading these comments and I was like, okay, like, okay. I responded to like one and then two. And I'm like, you know what, let me make a video. Because it's like unbelievable you guys really missed what, uh, five all-stars, guys. Let's just look this up. First of all, here's the first comment, y'all. Um, unbelievable. First comment says, let's see now. The Lakers had Magic Johnson, Abdul Jabbar, James Worthy, a super team in the 80s. 
I don't remember the rest of the league complaining. I remember Karl Malone, Steve, Na Steve Nash, ring chasing on the Lakers. Get over it. The Warriors did everything within the rules. All right, let's just let's break this down. Um, number one, yes, they did everything within the rules. I addressed that in the video. That's not the problem. I still said I don't care how you do it. It shouldn't be possible, okay? There are certain things within the laws right now that's legal, but it shouldn't be happening. You feel me? Do you, do you see what I'm saying? You get the point. Okay, now, let's see now. The Lakers have Magic Johnson, Abdul Jabbar, James Worthy. All right. First of all, that's three All-Stars you need. Three, five minus three is two. That's two more All-Stars that you have on your team, sweetie. What's the point you're trying to make your I don't get it, but let's check the car facts. Oh, 1986, 1987 Lakers. Yes, we were on top. Three All-Stars played in that All-Star game. Ooh, I got close to the camera. <laughs> Magic, James Worthy, and Kareem. He was a reserve, honey. He wasn't even in a starting lineup. I know. Check the car facts before you comment. Now, the year before that, he was a starting gun. I know. But this year he was reserved, and this year you know, and that's three all stars. Okay, so I'm confused on what do you mean? What do you mean th three versus five? Now the skill level of the all stars, that's not my problem. That's not my problem. <laughs> you said you've had all these all stars. That's three. That's three. Super team in the '80s. All right. Now look, here's the thing, sweetie, about that. I understand that that whole league when we're playing against doctors and dentists. To be honest. I don't know if I'm one of the only fans that, that think like this, but I don't really put too much weight on those years, you know? I will be the first one to say 16 rings, you know, because we are a storied franchise. You know, we are. We are. But really, honestly, I just say that, but I don't really put that much emphasis in my mind on rings. So since 1989, that was when all 30 teams were finally in the league. Okay, I think the Timberwolves and another team were the last ones to join in 1989. Since then, the Lakers have had five, first of all, let me just say the, the Celtics have had zero in this time. Since all 30 teams have been in the league, the Celtics have had zero. But they're the greatest franchise because they got all their rings in the doctor dentist time. Okay. And that's that on that, but that's a different, that's a different video. We're not even on that. <laughs> Didn't mean to go for the Celtics fans, but guess what? It just happened. Lakers, five rings. I mean, <laughs> imagine that. Spurs, five rings. Pistons, three rings. Bulls, six rings. Rockets two rings, Heat three, Warriors three, Cavs one, the Mavericks one. That's it. The Lakers and Spurs are tied at five rings right behind the Bulls at six rings. You know what I'm saying? That's when all 30 teams were in the league. And for all five of these rings, guess what, sweetie? We never had more than three All-Stars at, at a time. We never did for all five of these rings. All five of the rings where all 30 NBA teams were in the league, we never had more than uh, a three All-Stars, okay? Some of your teams can't relate. I'm talking to the Warriors fans. However, you didn't hear that from me. You didn't hear that from me. So the whole super team in the 80s thing, I get what you're saying. But then again, like it was against plumbers and dentists and stuff. So if you really hold that dear to your heart, like, oh, they, the dentists don't, it's like, congratulations. You know, I just, yeah. It says, I don't remember the rest of the league complaining. I'm pretty sure. I wasn't alive then, but I'm pretty sure they were. And then it says, I remember Carl Malone and Steve Nash ring chasing. Ring chasing on the Lakers. Honey. Oh, honey. You're in for a shocker. <laughs> You're in for a shocker here. First of all, 2012-2013 Lakers. That was when Nash came and Dwight Howard came. You think they were ring chasing coming to the Lakers? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Even that time, you're talking about Nash came to the Lakers like it was a big help. Uh, he was not even an all-star. Dwight was. Yeah, he was an all-star. We had two all-stars that year. Kobe and Dwight. We had Nash. We had Metal Peace, which a lot of y'all wanted to uh, put in the comments. Oh, you had Metal Peace, you had Nash, you had uh, everybody else on their team. Okay, we had two all-stars. I'm not talking about na big names, okay? I'm talking about all-stars. All right, let's move on to the next comment, though, sweetie. You did try. And you failed, but I love like the effort. I love you get an E for effort, and I just love that people are commenting. You know, um, I do appreciate, it. even though this seems kind of messed up. You know, some of y'all can't be kind of sideways, but I love you all. Cause sweetie, guess what? It's a splash squad. It's a squad. So I love all of y'all. But here we go. Next one, man. All the salt from these Laker fans is beautiful to watch. Now y'all know what it was like for the rest of us when y'all had Shaq and Kobe. 
Okay, this one is quick, easy, just because, uh, sweetie, I can't help that two All-Stars were dominating you guys. Let's look at that. 1999 to 2000 season, Lakers season, two All-Stars, Kobe and Shaq, no other All-Star on the team. No other All-Star on the team. I can't help that them two were, were doing that to you. You need five of them to beat this one dude, okay? We were in that predicament. Maybe if it was different, the times were different, it'd be different, but it's not. We only needed two. You guys need like four or five. And not even just like four random all-stars. No, you need like MVP caliber, best center of the league caliber all -stars. And that's you, and that's fine. Like I'm not trying to say anything about your franchise. You guys are great. But we just did not need to bring in that much artillery. We needed two. You needed five. Next comment. Lakers added all-stars. Carl Malone. Oh, Gary Payton. Oh, boy. Steve Nash. All wanted a chance to get a ring. Glad it didn't work out for them. Go Warriors. All right. Well, this is going to be quick. Carl Malone. He was not an all-star when he came to the Lakers. Y'all are talking about these big names. Like, that's like saying uh, David West when he was on the Warriors. Wasn't he an all-star before? Like, that doesn't matter. I'm talking about when he's on your team. DeMarcus Cousins is on your team. Last year he was an all-star. He was relative like that. Carmen Malone was not an all-star. Neither was Gary Payton. Neither was Steve Nash. All these people came to our team like <sighs> after. Okay? People and people love to say, well, Gary Payton after the Lakers, he won some rings with the Heat. Check his stats, sweetie though. Check him. Check how much he contributed. Ugh. <sighs> Alright. Uh we gotta go past these quickly because this is kind of getting long. Uh number four? People were People was acting like, oh, people was not acting, <laughs> people was not acting like this when the Cavs had six all-stars, but everyone is going crazy about the Golden State Warriors all-star starting lineup team. When did the Cavs have six all-stars? Somebody comment that down below until I get that comment, I can't address it. Number five, no disrespect, but I find your argument ironic. I like that. No disrespect. That's cute. Um, yes, I'm a Warriors fan, and have been since the 2000 We Believe team. Yikes. It's so sad to say that I live in California and I don't even know about that. I know. That's... I know. Um, your, your argument is ironic because you're complaining about this Warriors team when the team that you refer has won 16 times. 16 times? And you're mad about this team? Really? <laughs> the Warriors is a franchise of one, including this last one, a total of six times. That is tragic. Oh, brother. Yet you want to complain about this Warriors team. I don't understand that. The NBA has always been about dynasties. Well, you're right about that. Celtics, Lakers, Spurs, Bulls, Warriors. I like how you put Warriors last on that list. You get some kudos for that. I like that. Those teams combined could have accounted, oh, have accounted for well over half the total number of championships in the NBA. This is the modern day Bulls team of the 90s, and they're better than those teams. modern day post. Hey, okay. Who, who's Jordan? Who's Jordan? Who's Pitt? Pitt? Okay, because y'all got five. Also, how many did that? Okay. Um, let's go back. Uh, the team that you were for has won 16 times, 16 times. So yeah, I told you guys about how I feel about the dentist doctor era. I mean, really. There was like the NBA and the ABA. Like, y'all have to look it all up, but up and it was just like not even the full amount of teams but you see the stats when there was a full amount of teams okay we still almost have the most bulls have the most i respect the bulls a lot you know lakers have the second most tied with the spurs warriors are down there um with three and they needed four four all-stars to do that none of these other teams did next comment number six we're gonna blow by these guys the warriors technically have two Warriors technically have two all-stars. Three of those other players were drafted. Are they not all-stars? I'm confused. And weren't even top five picks. Don't blame, don't blame the Warriors for developing players that other players developing players that other players want to play with. Okay, so let me just address that real quick. How much time do I have? Ooh, we gotta hurry. I feel you on that. One, one thing I did say, uh, you guys didn't get to hear it because I trashed that video. In the first video I made, it was more rational. You know, I wasn't speaking out of anger. You know, and I was talking about how, really, everyone should be trying to get like the Warriors franchise because they did an amazing job. <laughs> I know that you guys are like confused. Like, what are you talking about? You just said all this stuff. I know. I be playing around a lot. I just joke around. 
But to be completely honest, as an NBA, as a fan, they are like the epitome of an amazing franchise. They did, they did that. You know, they drafted these guys up from nothing and made them into all stars. That's great. But then you have to call in a, a MVP to be. I'm talking about uh, uh, Durant, by the way. What's his name? Draymond has to go in the parking lot. KD, please, please. LeBron and beat us. We need, we need more. We need more. Bring in the heavy artillery. Like he, he really called KD to beat this dude. You know what I'm saying? And at that point is where your credibility went down. You know what I'm saying? Like, you guys just came off of such a great season, literally the most dominant in NBA history, and you needed an MVP to add to that roster. I mean, we, we could go there all day, but um, don't say blame the Warriors for developing players that players want to play with. No, you're just ring chasing at that point. You guys were already the most dominant team, and I respected that. You know, I didn't really like y'all because of all the bandwagon me in, in Southern California, but I respected it a lot because you guys drafted everybody from the ground. Who, who else has done that? Really? It's the epitome of what a franchise should be doing. But then they had to go in and do that. And I was like, oh, okay. But it's a good thing. It can't get any worse than that. And then y'all pull this. And it's just like, wow, well, you guys have no morals. Um, Y'all Laker fans forget y'all had Shaq, Kobe, Malone, and Rodman at one point. And second had Artest, Kobe, Powell, Dwight, and Nash. I already proved that. 2009, 2010 season. Kobe and Powell were both all-stars. Yes, we had Derek Fisher. Yes, we had Metal World Peace. Yes, we had Andrew Bynum. Yes, we even had Shannon Brown. However, how many of them were all-stars? Two, Kobe and Powell. So you guys are naming like big names, but I'm talking about all-stars. I'm not talking about people that had great careers. And, no, what is that? I'm talking about all-stars. I mean, really. Next one, typical, arrogant, sense of entitlement, millennial spoiled brat. Study some history, sister. How the Lakers have benefited more than how study some si how the Lakers have benefited more than any other franchise with gift trades. Okay, study some history and then you study grammar. We'll go study together at the library up the street. Does Kareem, Kobe, Shaq, Powell, Worthy ring a bell? Um, we already did that. We already went into that. Um, how many of them were all stars at the time they were on our team? Um, next, oh, also by the way, I'm sorry, whoever this is, Edward Yamada, Yamada, but you, you for sure got blocked. I know the rest of the comment I had to cut out. It was just ridiculous. He got blocked, and the thing is, he would never know. Y'all keep commenting as if you can comment, but you never know that when you get blocked, your comment just doesn't pop up. You know, and it's just sad because like you really want me to see what you say. It is really sad because not not a soul will see it, and you never know. You'll be typing for for years to come, and nobody will see it. Tragic. Um, next one. You just got LeBron James dot 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 and still salty. I know, I know. Laker fans, we are, we are. I know some of y'all other fan bases have to be sick of us by now. We really were. When you had Shaq and Kobe three peating, were you complaining? Um, no, because I was a fetus. Also, um, that's two all-stars you named. Guys, I don't get what is not computing in here, sweetie. Two all-stars, I'm talking about five. Five minus two is three, you have three more. Let's continue. I have been an East Bay fan my whole life, was a too little to really enjoy the A's in the 90s or the Raiders in the 70s, and the Dubs have never been good. Okay, I was confused with East Bay. Had to watch the Lakers be dominant with Kobe and Shaq. Kobe and Shaq, so I don't feel bad. Okay, wow. That's two All-Stars again. We gotta go to the next com uh, comment. Bryant, Howard, Nash, Gasol, Protest. Uh, two All-Stars once again in that whole group you just named. You guys have to come up with a better one. Any other teams? I mean, there was one of three All-Stars in 86, 87. You guys aren't even mentioning them. You're mentioning all two All-Star lineups. Unbelievable. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Is that the last one? That's the last one, y'all. Here's what I want to say, y'all. I'm not downplaying the significance of role players. I'm not downplaying the significance of anybody who's not an all-star because we've seen that you can carry a trash team to the finals. LeBron. We've seen that. So I'm not saying that, you know, you can't go anywhere without all-stars or all-stars just make or break your team. There could be an all-star that messes up the chemistry of your whole team, you know? I'm not saying that. I'm not saying the fact that Golden State has five All-Stars is a lot for them to just sweep everybody. However, I think you and I, on just a normal level, all biases aside, can agree that All-Stars, they help a little bit. Please, let's not try to act, 
who anybody has the chance. I know, I know. But just take the biases out. All stars help a bit, don't they? Let's just be honest with ourselves. All stars are gonna help you a little more. That's why there were all stars. Okay, now what I will say for Golden State is that I have to commend them for like being able to manage all that chemistry, all the egos with all those all stars on their team because other teams couldn't even handle that. So I have to commend them, you know? So you could give the Lakers five All-Stars and our chemistry could be trash and we just do nothing with it. But the point is though, that the more All-Stars you have, the better off you are, the better chances that you have to win, okay? And that's all I've been trying to say from the job. You know, you guys have five All-Stars on your roster. Yes, he's injured, coming off of an injury. You're saying chances are he won't. Chances, chances. It's all chances, guys. He's DeMarcus Cousins. I was seeing comments that saying, even if he doesn't come back fully healthy, He'll still be obviously an upgrade over some other players. I'm not going to say names because you know. But you know what I'm saying? It's DeMarcus Cousins. Arguably the best or one of the best centers in the league. Stop it. He was an all-star last year. You have basically an all-star lineup. Literally, when we go to the all-star game next year, like your starting lineup potentially could have been just the Warriors for the West. Now, I know the one have because LeBron's in the West now and all that stuff. But like, you gotta realize how many spaces you take up even last year. People are gonna be tired of that. That's all I was saying. And I was saying that it should not be able to happen. Guys, watch that other video. I don't wanna get too into it, but that's all I was saying. We try to spin it around and point it at the Lakers. I'm like, sweetie, what, you thought you were doing something with that? Y'all thought you were wounding me? Never had that many All-Stars. We never even had four. Sweet. And that's that on that. But that's all I have to say, guys. Only team in history that's needed five All-Stars to take down LeBron, but I'm <clears throat> not the point. Um, comment down below what you guys think. Anything else y'all have to say? Because I had to debunk this one. What's the other one y'all have? Because I can do another video debunking though. So let me know what y'all think in the comments. But I probably won't do another respond in the comments. I'll just read them and respond to you guys like on the computer. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And let me know about the whole podcast idea. I just, I'm trying to just get it in my head. I don't know exactly what I should do. So let me know in the comments below. Check out the DeMarcus Cousin video right here and some other videos here. And subscribe to join the Splash Squad. I'll see y'all later. I'm out.